If you have diabetic nephropathy or diabetic kidney disease, you might want to try the supplement quercetin or quercetin anywhere from 8 to 16 weeks. Get before and after blood tests and you can see the results. So we're going to talk about quercetin, the supplement study here that supports using it in diabetic nephropathy. So it's from the Phytomedicine Journal, October 2022, effective dose and duration of natural flavonoid quercetin for the treatment of diabetic nephropathy. Okay, so they looked at quercetin, a flavonoid that you find in tea, berries, apples, okay, variety of fruits, vegetables, and it has a lot of benefits for the body. Now in here, they're talking about how it can help uh, scarring of the kidney, it can help the blood sugar, it can help cholesterol in people that have diabetic nephropathy. And it's worth taking a high dose for eight to 16 weeks. And then you would do before and after blood work, so your results, and you would get off the quercetin for a period of time, and then you can get back on it again for like eight to 16 weeks. Probably you should get off of it for about six weeks. Uh, but that's only if you use a really high dose. So in this study, they recommend some very high doses for people, and they recommend a higher dose quercetin better. So they have, um, they have calculations here for four to 6,000 milligrams a day of quercetin. Okay, that's very high, and that's why they recommend eight to 16 weeks. So you're gonna be taking a lot of pills, but you can do it for a short duration. Now, if you're worried that that's too much, and you want to take the quercetin, but you don't want to take that much, and you can take it then for much longer. You don't have to take it for the eight to 16 weeks if you use 1,500 to 2,000 milligrams per day. So generally you do something like 1,000 milligrams twice per day of quercetin or quercetin, depending what pronunciation you look at. A lot of brands out there, now food is one I recommend, uh, Protocol for Life, Pure Encapsulation, but there's a lot out there. Just make sure it's got good quality manufacturing. And if you're gonna try it at those really high doses, don't stay on them long term. Make sure to get that blood work in eight to 16 weeks to see your results. Then you may wanna get off and get back on those high doses. If you're gonna use lower doses, and we know that the lower doses, people have taken them for years, okay, and been fine. You can use 1,500 to 2,000 milligrams for six months or so, okay, but always make sure to get your before and after blood work. Thanks for watching everybody and to your best kidney health. Bye.